Hi, here's my top tips on how to save money when traveling to Egypt or anywhere else, in fact. Um, this is a Nile cruise and I do go on holiday a lot and people say to me, how the hell can you afford it? Well, um, yeah, this is a couple of things I've learned and this is um, a couple of tips you might find useful. So, when you book your Nile cruise, you book your, your ship, for example, the one that the other people booked was the Magic, uh, MS Magic something or other. And what happens is when you get to Luxor Airport or Hurghada Airport, the first thing they say is, uh, we changed your ship. This has happened four times to me. So because the Nile, the tours are really, it's empty. It's completely empty. It's not completely empty, but like this is a, a ship here it's high season there's only 45 people on board um, so you get to know everybody in the first day basically <sighs> there's not many ships on the Nile anymore because of the, the problems in Egypt but those problems are not really on the Nile they are in Sinai and uh, other places but not really the places you're going to be going to so my top tips would be book a roulette tour a roulette holiday is you don't know what ship you're gonna get and that costs um, well for two people each 272 euros I've booked a cabin by myself so I've paid 400 the cheapest times to go anywhere are the second week in June or the week of the 19th in June and also the first two weeks in December um, from the 6th to the 22nd they are basically the cheapest weeks because, and also you won't get um, a single room uh, charge okay so that's normally the best times to go um, the other thing is the drinks on board are extremely expensive you can get um, you can get all-inclusive it's 18 euros a day which is all right but I'm not doing that because that's gonna add up to another 120 euros or whatever it is 140 euros in the week so what I've done is I have filled up my 100 milliliter bottles of whiskey and I've been drinking that put bought a bottle of coca-cola from the shop which cost me about 150 one pound fifty and um, just buy bottles of water and the bottles of water about 40 cents in the shops here so um, the reason why I've done that is because I go on holiday a lot and the first thing you do is you get to meet all the people in the restaurant and all that lot and then they say where are you from why can you speak German what are you doing here why are you the only English person on the ship um, where's your husband I say he's a drummer he's got lots of gigs to do and things like that and it goes on and on and on and I can basically say how the conversation is going to go every single time which drives me nuts so I've brought with me three seasons of the Vikings and Outlander and I'm going to be watching them on my little laptop tablet computer and that's what I am doing so you can save money by bringing your own drinks by um, you know putting them in the suitcase that's no I've brought loads of lilt I've brought like 10 cans of lilt as well so you know this you can save money that way the other thing is the tour packet uh, to do the tours that's 185 euros to do the tours now this is coming up to Comombo in about two and a half hours now from there Comombo is this uh, the Sobek uh, temple you watch my other video right look on Comombo that's quite interesting now that's directly off the bank so you just need to walk about 100 milliliters 100 uh, meters or whatever and then um, you know you're there it's the same with um, Edfu you can get a little tuk-tuk or um, Esna no, sorry Esna uh, Esna it's right there on the bank so you've got about 500 meters to walk so <coughs> you can do that so you don't really need the tour packet to get into Luxor from your ship you can get one of these little white buses and they're about 10 cents yeah 10 cents so you can do that 
are you one of these scaredy cat type people? Well, Egypt is quite safe. I've never had any trouble in Egypt. Um, people are really polite. Um, if you can speak English, that's fine. If you learn a bit of Arabic, that will help you an awful lot um, to gain respect and, and get a good price. So don't say, how much is that in Egyptian pounds? Say, uh, become Guinea. Like, how much is that in, in Guinea? Guinea is the, is the, you know, what they have here. So there's a few little tips I'll do some more later if you have any ideas and questions please write them below don't forget to like and I will see you later and goodbye from the MS Regency <laughs>